Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of After 20 Years by O. Henry. O. Henry's real name is William Sidney Porter and he is one of the most famous American short story writers. And this story After 20 Years is a much read short story. Come, let's read the story. The story begins with a policeman uh, going for his rounds and it is almost 10 o'clock in the night. Like in a few more minutes, it will be 10 o'clock in the night and it is very chill and he goes around checking each and every door and sees that everything is secured. And uh, as he is going, he sees a man near the doorway and this man has one cigar in his mouth. He has not lit the cigar and he is there. So the policeman goes to him. And seeing the policeman coming near him, the man tells, uh, Officer, uh, I am just waiting for my friend. I am not here to create any problem. And this uh, friend is someone with whom I made an appointment 20 years ago. And he says, I know you will find it very funny because 20 years back we made an appointment to meet now. But anyway, I will just explain to you. At that time, there was one store here called as Big Joe's Brandy's Restaurant. And the policeman says, yes, yes, even five years back it was there, but then afterwards it toned down. And then he says, uh, yes, at that in that place only we made this appointment. And when he was saying that, the man lights a match to light his cigar. At that time, the policeman sees his face. And this man's face is pale, square-jawed face with keen eyes. And he also has a white scar near his right eyebrow. And he was having a scarf pin uh, which was with a very large diamond on it. And uh, the man says, yes, 20 years ago I made uh, an appointment with my friend. We had our uh, dinner here in this place. And uh, Jimmy Wells, that is my best friend's uh, name. And he says he is one of the best person in the world. Both of us grew up together like brothers. And he says, I was 18 and Jimmy was 20. And I planned to go to West to make my fortune. I asked Jimmy also to come along with me. But he said, no, New York is my place. And it is the only place I want to live in the earth. So we decided that after 20 years, we will come and meet here. Whatever date or whatever time it is or whatever conditions we are, we will definitely come and meet here. And uh, we will try what our destiny has got for us. Whatever fortune we make, we will do it. And we will meet here. And the policeman says, ah, it's very interesting. And it's a long time because 20 years is a long time. And he says, in this 20 years, you never heard anything about your friend. And uh, that man says, no, for some time, like nearly for one or two years, we were in correspondence with each other. But afterwards, we lost touch. And he says, see, West is a very big place. And uh, I had to go there and find my fortune. And I know Jimmy also will definitely come and meet here if he is alive. Only thing is, he must be alive. Because he'll never forget. And see, even I never forget. Uh, for, forgot all this. Uh, for, I've come from thousands of miles away just to meet him. And if he comes means I'm very sure, very sure that he is alive. And if he doesn't come means it is only because he won't be alive. And then he pulls out his uh, watch. And it's a very handsome watch with all small, small diamonds in it. And he says only three more minutes to ten. And exactly at ten o'clock only we parted from this restaurant and uh, then he says okay in the west how did you do you should have uh, found it very interesting and he says yes and i hope even jimmy has done something at least half of what i have got because he's a very good fellow but there in the west i had to compete with all the very sharp wits very intelligent people to make my fortune and he says that um, it's not easy living in the west like how you are living in new york then the policeman says, okay, fine. I hope your friend will come and uh, I have to do my work. So I'm going. And uh, are you going to wait for him? And he says, uh, uh, yes, I'm sure he'll come if he's alive. Otherwise, I'll give him half an hour because I'm sure my friend will come at 10 o'clock. Otherwise, anyway, I'll give him half an hour more. He'll definitely be here. But after half an hour, I will leave the place. Then the policeman says, okay, fine. Good night. And he goes off. And this man uh, waits there and he waits uh, for another 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, a man, a tall man, wearing a long overcoat with collars all turned up uh, to ears, ears, comes there. It's very chill. So naturally, you'll be wearing a coat like that only. And he comes directly to this man who's from West and he says, Is that you, Bob? 
and uh, this man is very happy and he says is that you jimmy wells and uh, both of them are very happy and they grasp each other's arms and uh, he says uh, uh, it's really uh, fate only that both of us are meeting here after 20 years and 20 years is a long time and uh, it says why not we have another dinner together and we'll also talk about how we had spent this 20 years and uh, that man asks uh, how was west to you and uh, he says uh, so many things have changed and then he looks at him and says jimmy you've become even tall you're at least 2 or 3 inches tall and jimmy says see after 20 years i started growing and that's why maybe i'm looking tall to you and how were you doing uh, in uh, how are you how are things in new york jimmy asks and he says okay i am doing well and i am in one of the city departments and he says come i'll come and show you all the places and we'll talk about uh, our old times how we spent our times when we were young and they walk arm in arms and they keep talking and this man from the west he talks about the big success which he's done and he also tells about his uh, history there in the west and all that and uh, the other man uh, in the overcoat he listens quietly and as they are walking they come under the brilliant electric lights and now it is very bright there and then both of them turn to look at each other and the moment the man from the west looks at the other person with a long coat he suddenly releases his arms and he looks at him and says no no you're not jimmy wells and he says see maybe in 20 years you can become tall but definitely a man's nose will not change from a roman nose to a pug nose and then uh, this man says yes in 20 years if a good man can become a bad man then why not my nose change and then he says for the past 10 minutes you are under arrest and he addresses him as silky bob and he says that chicago is waiting for you because chicago was not able to catch you all these days but now we have caught you and if you are very intelligent means be quiet and come with me but he says before we go to the station i have been asked to give this paper to you please read this note and then that man takes that small piece of paper and he reads it and as he is reading his hand starts trembling because in that it is written bob i came to the place according to the appointment which we made 20 years back but when you struck the match i saw your face and i realized that this is the face that chicago is searching for and as a policeman i have to arrest you but as a friend i was not able to arrest you so i have sent another person to arrest you to do the job and it was signed as jimmy so it's understood that the first policeman who came in the patrol was a friend jimmy wells of this bob the story ends here it's a very beautiful story and if you have anything to add on to the story please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you